Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. Today we're going to talk about how to play back and how to export video footage from the DS control point. Um, on our first video, we learned how to add the system, how to view your cameras live, and how to create pre-configure, well, how to configure different layouts and save those layouts. You know, to kind of organize your cameras. On this video, we're just going to learn how to just play back previously recorded videos and just basically how to back it up. But I do recommend you, before watching this video, to watch the first one. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you want to play back your video footage, what you want to do is you want to click on an icon where it says search. It's a little binocular icon. We're going to click on that. We're presented with two options one is alarm search, and one is just a basically a time-based search according to the description so basically what that means is you can just enter in a certain time frame and it'll pull that up alarm searches if you configure any alarms on your server and the alarm is triggered it'll record the video when when the alarm was triggered and you can pull it up you know with the basically with that certain alarm so right now we're just going to stick to the time search so go ahead click on search we're presented with just a basic four camera layout uh, depending on how many cameras you want to view at the same time um, you could just adjust your layout out up here so I'm going to click on a single camera layout and I'm going to drag my camera over now you can see the little timeline right here um, if I'm clicking back it's showing me on you know, different days you know Wednesday Thursday and basically what you could do is you could roll your mouse up and it'll break it down from days to hours so there's a certain hour you want to take a look at and you definitely want to scroll up and then you'll be able to highlight the video footage that you want and it'll give you all information down here um, this is a pretty neat feature, but I always prefer to basically just type in the actual time, you know, the actual time that I want. Um, if you have an idea of when a certain event happened, it's just much easier just to type it in. So let's say I want to do 10 a.m. to 10:02 a.m. Do a two-minute clip. Choose my day. Make sure the date is aligned right. 12 19 2013 to 12 19 2013. I'm just going to click on next and basically it just finds my footage. So again, I could just drag over the footage. I could fast forward and rewind. Just basically the, the basic playback uh, feature that you, you would expect. Now, if you want to modify your search, you can just click on this icon right here. It'll take you back to your previous menu, and you can just basically adjust the uh, the, the timeline. Of course, we have the same feature as we did on our live view. We have our little print feature, our snapshot feature, and then our full screen feature. Also, we have our you know digital zoom, image adjustment. All that was explained in our first video. Now what we want to look at is we want to look at the export feature so now let's say you found a video clip that you want and you want to back up that video clip so what you want to do is you want to click export you want to choose video and then you're presented with just different formats you could export it to my recommendation is just keep at AVI since it's a it's basically a universal format where it could play on you know QuickTime if you have a Mac or it could play on Windows Media Player if you want to change the format, by all means, you can, you know, change the format to whatever fits your needs. So I'm just going to click Next. Click Browse. Um, it'll let you just basically save the video footage to wherever you want to save it to. Um, I'm just going to save it to my download folders. Again, you could just save it to a desktop if it makes it easier. I'm just going to click Test. Type in the video clip name. Just gonna click in next. If you have, if you were playing back multiple video footage, and there's only one camera that you wanted to uh, actually do the backup on, you could just uncheck the rest, or you could just leave them all checked, and it'll show you right here how many videos you're gonna export. I'm gonna click next again. 
then I'm gonna click next again and I'm gonna click finish so then it'll start doing my export and uh, once it's finished doing the export it'll just load that specific file that uh, I basically named to the path that basically basically to the path that uh, I chose earlier um, that's about it usually it takes a couple minutes but I'm not gonna make y'all sit here and watch this um, so basically that basically just wraps up our video you know the playback feature is pretty simple very straightforward and uh, very easy using the Pelco digital uh, sentry control point software um, make sure you check out our other control point training video on our next video we're basically going to go over how to set tours and we're just going to go basically over all the little buttons that you see on the control point so you can feel comfortable and be more familiar with the actual software itself thanks for watching this video and um, again make sure you check out those other videos and visit our website www.2mcctv.com